Thomas and Betts Power Solutions state-of-the-art surge lab is both UL and ETL certified. The lab includes three Keytech surge generators, a nominal discharge surge current test set, medium current generators, a limited fault current generator, and a lightning generator capable of producing surges as high as 200,000 amps. With this test equipment, we are capable of simulating real-world surge scenarios for evaluating current technology and competitor surge protective devices. Every surge protective device is marketed based on its single surge handling capability, the level of surge the unit is capable of handling one time without failure. Historically, surge manufacturers provided third-party test reports to prove their product's robustness. Presently, most surge manufacturers do not provide test reports. Instead, they provide calculated values based on the number of surge components used in the construction of their product. The surge rating of the individual component can no longer be assumed once it is placed on a printed circuit board and becomes part of a system. Relying on calculated values does not guarantee performance. Higher surge ratings provide more protection and ensure a longer, useful life. Since the purchase price of the surge device increases with higher surge ratings, it should be important for the manufacturer to prove the product's robustness by providing a single surge test report. It is for this reason that Thomas & Betts Power Solutions purchased several competitive surge protective devices on the open market and applied a single surge that matched the marketed single surge rating from the manufacturer. Brand A's marketed values include the nominal operating voltage, UL1449 third edition voltage protective ratings per mode, maximum continuous operating voltages, short circuit current rating, nominal discharge surge current, single surge rating per phase and per mode, and SPD type as defined by UL1449 third edition. Here is a glimpse at the inside construction of the model being evaluated. The inside of the unit revealed seven modules, one per mode of protection, each claiming 125,000 amps of surge protection. When testing for single surge, it is first appropriate to document a calibration shot. The calibration shot helps determine what voltage level is required to achieve the desired surge rating. Once the desired surge rating has been achieved, the unit being tested is added to the circuit. The same voltage is used for charging the capacitors to ensure the desired surge current is applied to the unit. As can be seen from the current waveform, the calibration surge value was 125,000 amps. The following is an animated reenactment that demonstrates the performance of brand A SPD when tested to its single surge nameplate rating, 125 kiloamps per mode. The background audio you hear is actual and validates the destructive outcome of this test. Samples B, C, and D also failed when subjected to a single surge at their marketed values. Although they failed in a safe manner, they were no longer functioning and would need to be replaced. Since lightning strikes can include up to 40 individual strokes, these failures would leave downstream equipment vulnerable and unprotected. As demonstrated by the failure of all four competitive samples, the surge rating marketed by these manufacturers is a calculated value. Single surge ratings are how surge devices are specified and reflect not only the single surge protection capacity of the device, but the longevity as well. For optimum performance and prolonged useful life, ensure your SPD's rating has been validated by an accredited third-party lab. Contact a Current Technology rep to request copies of our single surge test reports. Visit currenttechnology.com to find a local rep or download product data sheets and white papers.